That's right, folks. Just as the thumbnail implies, our net worth has jumped up over 500% in just five years. Let's talk about how we did it. Hey everybody, my name is David. I'm a financial coach. Today we're gonna to talk about our net worth journey so far, how we got from point A to point B, and how you can do it too. Now, as a reminder, a net worth is something that everybody has. It is all of your assets minus your liabilities. In other words, what you own minus what you owe. If you have $500,000 in assets, $200,000 in debt, your net worth is 300,000. If you have $700,000 in a 401k and a $300,000 paid for home with no debt, your net worth is a million. I talk about your net worth in a previous video. I'll go ahead and link it in the description and maybe put it in a video card. Now our net worth five years ago was about negative $48,000. Now, here we are five years later, our net worth is hovering at the time of this video around $200,000. How did we make a jump from negative 48,000 up to over $200,000 in just five years? The first thing we did as soon as we got married was we immediately started tackling our debt. We owed $66,000 to the student loan companies. Now I had some leftover money from deployment, so I threw that towards the debt and knocked it down in one chunk to about 48,000. Now after looking at the projection with the finance companies and the student loan companies, it was estimated that we could be out of debt using their plan in about 11 years. No, we did not want to be enslaved to a finance company, to some big corporation for the next 11 years. So we put together our own plan to be able to get out in just three years. Instead of paying the amount that they wanted of $512 every month, we decided to put $1,500 into this student loan every month. We cut our lifestyle to the bare bones. We then raked, shoveled, piled up any sort of spare cash we could. We put it on top of that debt. There were a couple months where we could only put eleven, twelve hundred in, and there were many months where we could put over two thousand dollars in. We were averaging at one point almost twenty-two to twenty-three hundred dollars a month on this debt. We also sold items that we didn't need or that we knew we could get later. We said no to a lot of trips and outings with friends as well but that didn't deter us. I worked overtime at work, took the late shift so I could get that shift differential, which bumped up the pay just a little bit more. At one point for a small streak during this intense time, Bethany and I saw each other just a few hours a day. I worked second shift, she worked first. She would be up and at work by the time I got out of bed. And by the time she was in bed with the lights out, I was just clocking out. Finally, with about seven or eight months left on our debt, we crossed over from the negative territory and broke even with our net worth. Our assets and our liabilities were equal, causing our net worth to be zero. We were worth zero. With just six months left on our debt-free journey, we were exhausted, but we saw the finish line ahead and we took off in a dead sprint. At this point, I dropped and turned off all retirement contributions. We killed our restaurant budget to zero. We took our personal spending money down to almost nothing, and we took our fun money down to almost nothing. With every little bit of energy we had left, we sprinted towards the end of that finish line. And on June of 2018, 20 months from when our debt-free journey started, we made our last debt payment. <laughs> our plan was to get out in three years. We were out in 20 months. We now had no payments in the world. We were averaging $2,300 to $2,200 a month pounding on this debt. Now we had no payments in the world. Our next step was to build up an emergency fund of three to six months of expenses to be ready for life's Murphys that come around the corner and try to hit us in the face. Once the emergency fund was finished, we were able to put most of our money towards the down payment of our now home. At this point, we also realized that we could start building up assets like Roth IRAs, 401ks, and other investment vehicles with almost zero resistance because there was no debt at all. We didn't have to put any money towards payments. We could take everything we had and put it wherever we wanted. Our net worth began to skyrocket. The next thing contributing to our net worth was the purchase of our home. We put almost 50% down on the purchase of our home with a plan to try to pay it off in the next eight to 10 years. Despite the crazy housing market of 2020 and 2021, we were able to purchase our home for about $25,000 under the original listing price. 
If you saw the financial goals video I posted in January of 2021 this year, you'll notice that I had mentioned that our net worth was bumped up to 150,000. Other things that I did not have as a goal, but I was surprised to see was the year 2020 actually had our net worth push past the $100,000 mark. And now since we purchased a home, push past the $150,000 mark. Well, with no debt, a large emergency fund, we have been able to invest, contribute to our investment accounts and watch those grow. We've also been able to make some moderate to major renovations on this house, further bringing the value of this home up even more. You can do this too. Remember, clear out your debt, get that out of your life. Once that's done, you won't have anything standing in the way. You'll be able to just start buying assets, buying things that go up in value, paying cash for things, and your net worth will start to climb rapidly as well. I also wanna point out, we do not have a giant six-figure income. What we have done is eliminated or minimized as many liabilities as possible and also at the same time investing and buying assets and things that go up in value. As our assets climb and our debts and liabilities go down, the gap gets bigger and that increases your net worth. Now eventually, once we have no mortgage payment, we'll have almost zero liabilities and almost 100% assets. Once your debt is cleared out and your assets start to begin to climb, it's fine to upgrade the furniture in the home, go on a nice trip, do something fun create memories, and have some experiences. So there you go, guys. That is how we have climbed our net worth from negative 48,000 to 200,000 in just five years. I really hope you enjoyed what you saw today. If you did not enjoy it, share it with an enemy. But if you did enjoy it, feel free to like and subscribe to this channel so you can get more content just like this delivered to you. All right, guys, that's all I've got for today. We'll see you in the next video.